In fact, for the past few years, Ghana has experienced some amazing young people that have really wowed Ghanaians with their performance at university or their various institutions. Welcome to this episode of Success. My name is Manuel Kabo. So, the one to talk about is Audrey Mami A.C. Swanson, who was celebrated as the youngest Ghanaian female pilot who has obtained a commercial lances. My Mrs. Watson hails from Salt Pond. Having completed senior high school at the age of 18, she got admission at Mark 1 Aviation Academy in Johannesburg, South Africa to pursue her dream of becoming a pilot. Amazing. She made records as the youngest female pilot ever in the history of Ghana. And the girl is doing amazing work. She was able to set up an aviation company called Excel Aviation Company. And then as of 2019, she is the first officer with Passion Air in Ghana, operating the De Havilland Canada-8 aircraft. She was celebrated by the Ministry of Aviation and then in 2016 she attended a sponsored conference in the USA as the first African female pilot by international women in aviation. She was nominated and honored at the Future Awards African Prize for Young Person of the Year and then in 2022 she was awarded the Female Young Achiever at the 2022 Exclusive Men of the Year African Awards. In fact, from Central Region to Johannesburg in South Africa to becoming the youngest pilot in Ghana to make a history. But at a point in time, this guy was like a real model to me. He became a lawyer at the age of 22. So he became the youngest person in the history of Ghana to graduate from the country's school of law, Makwala to be specific. He attained the coveted title after beating the record of Adwasa for becoming the youngest lawyer in Ghana since 2004 that was held by Adwasa. So after completion, Akwane Dakun was called to the bar in 2019 and currently works with Amwa Sechi and company and desires to become one of the finest practitioners of law in the country. Next to talk about is the Amanda Epo, the young lady who made history with 3.8 GPA as a law graduate from University of Ghana School of Law. She is one of seven students who graduated with first class honors and being crowned a valedictorian in 2020. Of course, she was a part time YouTuber, so in fact, I watched these ladies' videos some years back before I even planned on starting a YouTube channel. Amanda Niyotako set the record as the first law student to have the highest GPA in Ghana from the School of Law since 2012. Amazing. Though admitting that law is one of the toughest programs of study at the university, she still stayed true to make success for herself. Epu Niyotako's aspiration is to contribute to the development of the, of the protection of human rights and preservation of natural environment. She also aspires to become a lecturer as well. Continuing is UCC's SMS graduate who picked 16 hours, Natalia Nukuju. That amazing UCC guy, a freshly graduated medical doctor from the School of Medical Sciences of the University of Cape Coast. He was announced the winner of 16 different awards at the second session of the 55th congregation held for the College of Health and Allied Sciences. And then out of 22 awards, Nathaniel was able to pick 16 out of them so he was adjudged the best in medical biochemistry physiology microbiology community medicine chemical pathology and pharmacology best graduating preclinical student overall performance best student in family medicine and molecular medicine with certificate next to talk about is a lady by name aziha who recently graduated from UPSC law school with a final cumulative grade point average of 3.72 and emerged as the valedictorian for her 2022 graduating class. She was also adjudged the best graduating student from the UPSA Law School, having picked up the two most prestigious awards for the Bachelor of Laws program, best graduating student in both public law and then private law as well. She was also the first female to graduate from UPSA Law School in the first class. I have a lot of plans to help women in my country to go into the aviation sector. There are lots of opportunities in the aviation sector for women especially, but they don't have the information at hand and then the guidance to show them how to do it or the requirements for it. I happen to register a company, Excel Aviation, and that's the purpose of the company. I have seen the other side, that mm. is the good side, mm -hmm. where I have seen a mother being hugging their child because custody was given to her. The case mm. that you worked on? Yes, that okay. I did. I have seen somebody get their money because of a letter I have written. Mm. I have seen somebody get their lease from the land commission because yeah. their house got burned and the original lease is missing i mean the joy on people's faces but i never got anything below a c plus so a c plus to me was a disappointment you should try your best in school of course to get the best grades that you can get but overall that might not necessarily 
prove that you're going to be the best in the workplace or that you are the most intelligent person in the class or that you are the most intelligent person wherever it is that you are. When I wrote my West African School Certificate examination, I failed mathematics. I had to stay home for a year so I could rewrite this subject. Though tough it was, I'm proud to announce to you that this setback was indeed not a setback, for it was the beginning of multiple opportunities for me. And it is on account of this marvelous bouncing back that I am confident you will rise up with much vigor. Personally, I see this moment of our graduation as a call to service for Ghana, Africa, and the rest of the world. Instead of burying our skills, let us make the use of them to promote Ghana and our beloved alma mater. Thank you for watching this video today, and my name has always been Manuel Clever. Do me a favor by subscribing to this channel.